Hello and welcome to the Easy HR Weekly Update. It's the update of all things HR so you can concentrate on what you do best and that's running your business. Uh, there's not a huge amount that's happened recently. We're in summer recess with the government so we're not going to see too much information coming through. One thing that has changed is the Home Office have announced they're going to increase the fines for illegal workers. So that's where you people don't have the right to work in the UK. Currently it's £15,000 for your first employee and £20,000 for every subsequent employee as a consequence of this. Uh, that's going to increase from 15 to 45 for the first employee and from £20,000 to £60,000 for every employee thereafter. They are really going to get really hot on this, but for a lot of employers there's no reason why you should find yourself in that position realistically. Uh, if you are doing the right to work checks and you're taking the proper care and attention with this, you'll be absolutely fine. But one thing to do if you do have someone who is you have concerns about or you don't think you've got the proper ID for that person, Please, you, please use the government checks. They, they, the Home Office is a great department where they would do work with employers who need help and support, so please use that. We'll put the details within the blog there, so you've got that as well. Um, just additionally, just a few things to keep out, keep an eye out is that we'll, I'm intrigued to see what happens with the Letby case and how that Im impacts the whistleblowing review that's going on currently, and whether that changes certain aspects of it. And additionally, we are starting to see a few more queries come up in around low pay. Uh, we talked about the name and shame of the week. Please keep an eye out for that one. If you do think that you are potentially, if we you average out pay that people are underneath the national minimum wage, or the national living wage, sorry, then you need to make sure that you're taking action to address that as well. And if you need any help on any of these issues, please don't hesitate to get in contact. All the best.